Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aries. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for October. See what's going to be happening in your life today, Aries. All right, what your horoscope's looking like. Now, darling, I'm sure you already know, Aries, but you need to check out more than just your one zodiac sign to get an understanding of what's happening in your life. All right, check out your sun, moon, and your rising, darling, to have a better understanding. And let me know in the comments below how my tarot readings help you out. And if you enjoy this tarot reading today, check out the top right hand corner, darling, because I have a monthly tarot reading for you. So I promise you, you'll enjoy it. And of course, when you enjoy these free tarot readings darling Aries all right all I ask is just give this video a like and subscribe it really does help me out quite a bit and I always appreciate those who take the extra step to support me in that way all right so uh let's just begin your tarot reading here today Aries see what's going to be popping up in your life what's going on here I'm already looking at the cards and it's looking pretty fabulous darling can I say all right but let's get into the back of the deck energy for you first of all which is the fool card brand new fresh beginning here all right that's why you see with the fool it's associated with the number zero areas all right many people don't actually know that so with the full energy here is the back of the deck what you don't see coming is like a brand new start in some facet of your life here it could be multiple facets or it could just be all encompassing right that's why you see with the full card as well it's in, like it's usually depicted with someone that only has like a sack not really caring much with them the only thing that's accompanying them is their wand there with their passion and the uh the usually like some type of familiar like a dog cat or something in that manner representing like your spiritual guides and what have you something guiding you to this new beginning here all right and something that i want to really focus on for this full energy is that this one is holding a wand wands representing the passions wands representing that fiery energy here for you aries so i do feel like we're like whatever energy like whatever it is that you've been working on what it is that you're doing it's leading you to this brand new beginning here all right where it's just like being able to work on something with a clean slate all right so for example aries you could have started working on like a you know been working on like a project like a side business because i also see with this uh in the cards here like with that nine of pentacles there you could be working on like side hustles trying to get revenue coming in from your own control not worrying not trying to rely on like a paycheck um it does feel as if like some type of situ like you're going to be seeing some type of clarity in the coming days of how to approach something with a new set of eyes all right so let's get right into your first row darling all right you have the magician card with the page of pentacles and the four of cups so right off the bat let's talk about this four of cups here Aries. i want to bring to your attention again this is where you tap back in darling all right and you see this individual with their arms crossed eyes are closed Aries. representing this is you representing that they're closed off to their situation due to to their current situation right to close off to things due to the current situation rather that's why i see those three cups there but they're frustrated and so because they're so closed off they're not seeing where spirits trying to offer this cup to them this new opportunity this new energy right aries and so there is like this sim symbolism here where it's like spirits trying to show you the way to have like a clean slate a new approach to something going on in your life here it could be socially or it could be in regards to just like your finances or something in that manner there whatever the case is spirits like asking you just like it's like practically begging for you Aries just like hey darling we understand in your current situation of things like you're not feeling really open to new energies or possibilities here but trust us trust the process here be more open all right you have the magician card coming in here with the page of pentacles aries representing the sense of where you have the power aries of being able to create revenue being able to create new uh funds coming into your life stability starting to add into your life here all right so i get like this message here aries where it's like if you're trying to have more financial stability in your life instead of trying to like pick up more shifts at work which i'm sure you already know aries any adult that watches me honey right it never pays off when you're picking up like 16 hour 12 hour shifts because all that extra overtime it feels like we're just getting taxed for it anyways right <laughs> in this sense here you know the magician is the most independent card or individual out of all the archetypes of the major arcana because they have all the tools in the toolbox right they have the wand they have the cup they have the sword they have everything right they have the pentacle and so this is letting me leading me to believe aries especially when it's paired with this page of pentacles here it seems like where your energy is putting more focus in on it is that pentacle energy where it's associated with that fiery passion it's like making some type of passion 
be more grounded into reality here now with this page of pentacles here this could be like a new stream of revenue this could be in a social way of um commun new communication somebody somebody reaching out and communicating with you all right i also get that message as well you might be re uh uh aries i could see this magician and page of pentacles energy being read off as like someone who is like a magician energy where they're very much so self-sufficient like a business owner or something in that manner offering communication with you here but it does require you as that four of cups to be seen right you can't have you can't expect to have mentors enter your life or anything in that manner if you're not putting yourself out there uh aries so let's start clarifying this right here all right we have the uh, knight of pentacles coming in here so definitely with the knight of pentacles aries this is like a card of like honoring your commitments buckling down and trying to get things done the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight out of all the knights all right so you might have to be a little bit patient of trying to get something off the ground here hierophant energy coming in clarifying this magician card as well so definitely in a social way like some type of new energy coming forward to you like a strong potential and having like easily like some type of mentor coming into your life with that hierophant energy the hierophant represents like especially in a social way it's like having substance and being able to learn from it all right and being able to it's known as like the card of marriage so you take that devoted energy and apply it to whatever the case is here all right and then the world card with the page of pentacles so here's the thing aries i feel like this is your girl can i pick up girl i have these claw machine nails and i can't pick it up so i feel like for you aries right now your path is leading you to a place of where it's like all right darling you're tired of having to stress about finances you're tired of having to you know always being the one to reach out to people here you have the opportunity with the world card because it's funnily enough you have the world card is the final card in the major arcana right so it's really kind of interesting that you have the first card in the major arcana and then the last card so so it, begin, it closes out one fool's journey to begin another, right? And so I really do feel like for you, Aries, this seems to be a month of where it's like personal endeavors. Uh, you know, yeah, it just feels like personal endeavors are uh, taking its turn in your life to be like the main focus point here. All right. There's something that you have been working on that's going to be more grounded into reality this month is what I feel. All right. And so let me know what that is in the comments below. Is this like a project? Is this like a social situation? Maybe you're starting to get uh, go out of the house more more start networking more areas what is it about in your second row here we have the moon ten of pentacles and the hanged man coming in fabulous energy here all right the ten of pentacles is what you always like to see when it comes to your money and all that right it represents that stability hanged man coming in with the moon so there is like again this message here is where it's like spirits wanting to change your perspective of how you are seeing things um and being able being willing to peer into the unknown with that moon card here right the moon represents things that are going on beneath the surface so you have it pairs kind of beautifully with in this sense where it's like something that you're not seeing that spirit's trying to bring your attention towards change in perspective like they're trying to change your perspective with that hanged man there and there's also this sense of just needing to commit needing to just go forward and taking action aries do you feel as if you're not like ready yet or do you feel like you want to stabilize a bit more aries before you go into new projects is that's what is that where the hesitation is um you know this is just like a question here because it is like the sense spirits really trying to bring you draw your attention to something else here all right but i do feel like there's like this little bit of resistance on your end of like or perhaps hesitation you know and this is not me chastising you aries all right i completely get it darling <laughs> when it comes to like you don't want to take action because this is a real life we're talking about here but yeah we have the knight of wands and this is right under your knight of pentacles clarifier here representing this is the energy that you need to have when it comes to the unknown aries all right the knight of wands is just going forward right it's not necessarily a card of, well it can be a card where it's just like the knight of wands is someone that just takes action first and thinks later but i feel like you've already done enough thinking for a lifetime aries and it's time for you to just follow in that passion take note as well we're continuously having that fiery wand energy coming in here right 
clarifying your ten of pentacles here we have the six of swords and the six of swords is in the reverse for you aries so this is the sense of like coming back to something ten of pentacles so it's like maybe you try to at one point in time in your life to get something off of the ground right maybe you started trying to et an etsy business or something in that manner and you felt like you had a you felt forced to having to walk away from it all right maybe at that time when you were trying to do it with that six of swords energy in the reverse like you tried to uh, make it work prior but like people in your life made it really hard for you to do that whether it's like the people that you tried to get uh get something off the ground with or just being around the certain people that made it hard for you to put energy into um getting a project off the ground here it does feel as if this sense of spirit's like no like this is not the time to walk away from something don't miss out on this opportunity here two of wands hanged man here so this is like a sense of like pay attention to the big picture of things aries all right just because something doesn't feel like it's going to initially like immediately give a payout right doesn't mean it's not going to be good for you doesn't mean that uh long term it's not going to be a service to you right i'll just make an, an analogy right now where it's just like you know when i started this youtube channel you know the best case scenario was it was able it was going to be able to financially support me aries you know but when i first started out i knew it wasn't going to be able to pay any type of bill honey now i played the long game and now it's been been this uh sole source of what's been able to keep me afloat right and so you got to think about the long picture things just because you post a couple of videos and you only get a few views doesn't mean you just give up on it maybe you need to change your approach change how you're seeing things and then continue going forward there aries all right but this isn't the time for you to throw in the towel and give up on that giving in give, giving in going into your third row here we have the nine of pentacles we have the page of swords and then the ace of cups the ace of cups represents new love new opportunity here but because it's paired with this nine of pentacles here it's like there's new opportunity when it comes to like um your own personal endeavors to make that money right because the nine of pentacles is a beautiful card for my self-employed and something i want to point out aries is that with the nine of pentacles you'll notice in the artwork of it once again there's an animal there's a familiar guiding this individual here really in in line with the fool energy right and so again there's like this message where spirits like hey page of swords energy it's time for you to just take action here aries allow spirit to guide you a little bit more in this way all right with that page of swords i feel like there's been too much observing knave of wands page of wands in this deck uh rather with the ace of cup clarifying the ace of cups i would be taking the you know both of these cards really represent new opportunity uh presenting itself i feel like spirit's going to be trying to open a door for you but you have to continue committing to it so for example aries right this is like a sense of where yeah maybe you uploaded a couple of videos and uh it didn't pay out like you didn't get the views that you wanted and so you gave up on it spirit sitting is sitting here and telling you she's like hey darling why don't you just come back here Aries, and try this out again um and we'll try to get the momentum momentum going for you does that make sense but i feel like there's this sense of being like a little bit too rigid when it comes to how you feel like your storyline plays out you know and i know this can, can kind of sound silly coming from a tarot reader aries but i feel like you need to understand that you are never going to have a full understanding of how your life is going to play out the li this isn't the sims darling all right and so just because you can uh see your current reality and you know go do two plus two equals four that doesn't mean like you don't know the extra numbers that are going to be added right and so what i mean by this aries is that just because you feel like you have an understanding of how life is going to play out you, it's like you you observe something being like okay is this worth it or not and then you try to see how it's going to pay off like a year from now and you're just like mm, no i don't see this being uh being worth it and then that's where the problem is because you're not considering where spirit can just come in at any point in time and add something into the mix that completely alters the trajectory of where that your career path would be going does that make sense so two of swords coming in here on this page of swords you do have to commit to your areas all right you can't here's the thing whenever i started this youtube channel and i'm not suggesting you to do it darling all right to follow my story because all of our stories are very different but when i committed to doing the youtube channel i committed to it fully i didn't have a job i had savings and i just committed to doing the youtube channel fully committing all my time and energy to it there was there's no point of return there's no way of me being able to go back to what i was doing because i went all in and i feel like that's the kind of energy you need to exude a little bit here aries so just going all in in regards to things two of pentacles with the nine of pentacles 
maybe you're trying to disperse your energy a little bit too much aries is something that i'm getting all right you need to put a focus in on just one specific thing and uh you know it's instead of thinking of it like a garden you plant one tomato plant and you give all of your energy you give all of your manure and whatever honey to, that makes plants grow all of your water into that one tomato plant until that tomato plant gives tomatoes all right don't plant like tomato plants and then corn and then what have you focus in on one specific thing and that's what that's think about it in a way where it's like that's then delegating all the energy into one specific thing including spirits help and so that's how you're going to have something uh be fruitful come into some uh come into something more prosperous does that make sense aries so all that being said darling we have this extra card coming in here so I, i'll take that as y'all's but let's get into your oracle cards before i send you off on your way aries all right what's happening for you guys with your oral who cards giraffe card the giraffe spirit number 29 equaling to 11 a master number aries all right so look up the number 11 in numerology the giraffe uh spirit though says seeing the bigger picture aries all right and didn't i even say earlier in this reading where it's like looking at the big picture of things looking at the long term i think i did that's what because i see that two of wands there so i'm pretty sure i did that thing all right and so um yeah, I don't feel like I need to really repeat myself in this way, Aries. I feel like you kind of get the point here. So having that understanding here, darling, let's go leave you with your mantra quote for the week. And this card says, very fitting, actually. <laughs> um, this says, the universe fa works fast when I'm having fun. All right. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. And so instead of being so focused in on the number of how many views you're getting or how successful something immediately is, have fun with it and just put all your focus in on it. Don't be so stressed out about the payout of it because spirit's going to make sure at some point in time, you're going to have a positive of harvest from there darling all right and so just have fun with that very fitting card for y'all to be having and i don't even know how aries this card got mixed up with the rest of this deck here because i have a little bit of ocd about all my cards uh being together in a proper way so that must have really needed to reach y'all so Aries, that's the tarot reading that I have for you today. Thank you for listening to me. Be sure to check out the top right-hand corner for your monthly tarot reading for October, and I'll connect to you sometime in the near future, darling, all right? Bye, Aries. <laughs>